guys, and what a way to celebrate the fourth anniversary of AEW Dynamite tonight here in Stockton, California. And now, please welcome officially with me to All Elite Wrestling, the Rated R Superstar, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Copeland. Taz, this past Sunday at WrestleDream, I thought the roof was going to come off the Climate Pledge Arena. There is no doubt about it. It was amazing in Seattle at WrestleDream when Adam Copeland, the rated R superstar, appeared and shocked everybody, especially shocking our TNT champion Christian Cage who looked like he saw a ghost. I know Cope a long time. I know Adam Cope for a very long time. I consider him a close friend. Shared a ring with this man, traveled with him, a lot of laughs with him. It's great that he's here in AEW. Yeah, I mean, a, tr a true legend in our sport, a tremendous addition to the roster here in AEW. And I mean, what a moment, just, just days ahead of our fourth anniversary at Dynamite. All right, it is great to be standing beside a true legend. What, it was the biggest news in pro wrestling last week. The fans are still rabid for the Rated R Superstar. And welcome to All Elite Wrestling, my friend. Tony Schiavone, I grew up, and your voice was the soundtrack to my childhood. So to stand in the ring with you, pretty big deal for me. And I love you, Tony, but this is my ring now, so hit the bricks. Perfectly said. <laughs> I love you. Seriously, though, I, I came out here to talk to y'all. Man, I've never heard that one chanted before. That's fun. I like that. But seriously, okay, let's rewind back, okay? 2011, I'm told that I can never do this again. But guys, we're in 2023, and I am standing in an AEW ring. And now, there, there's quite a few reasons why I came here. There's one major one, but I'll get to that last, okay? Because I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure the AEW Heavyweight Championship would look good around my waist. There's a whole roster of first-time matches for Adam Copeland, and yeah, I just talked about myself in the third person. Never done that before. Kind of weird. I don't think I'll do that again. But come on, check it out, check it out, check it out. We're talking first-ever matches, right? Adam Copeland versus John Moxley. Adam Copeland versus Kenny Omega. Yeah. Versus Miro. Yeah. Versus Powerhouse Hobbs. Yeah. Versus Jay White. Yeah. Versus the stray bullet Juice Robinson. So those are all amazing reasons to be here. 
to challenge myself 31 years into my career with something that's brand new. And all of you are helping make that happen. And I've already said this before, I'm gonna say it again, this will be the last time I say it. The main reason that I decided to come here to AEW is because I sat down, I sat down with my family, and I said to my girls who are seven and nine years old, I said to Lyric and Ruby, I was like, Lyric, Ruby, what's dad do? Should I retire? That choice was up there, but then Lyric, nine years old and far wiser than I will ever be, she said, you should go and have fun with Uncle Jay. So speaking of Uncle Jay, I'll, tell, I'll call him what, what y'all call him, Christian Cage. I know. So right now, I would like to call out Christian Cage so I can tell him the real reason I'm here. Come on. Jay, come on. Well, this past Sunday at Wrestle Dream, Christian Cage successfully defended his TNT Championship in a brutal, a brutal, brutal doesn't even describe this match, Taz. It, it was a I mean, unlike anything I'd ever seen, his defense against Darby Allen. Well, absolutely insanity. But talk about history. The TNT champion coming out here, Christian Cage, and the man in the ring, Adam Copeland, the rated all superstar. And for our younger fans that don't know, Adam Copeland and Christian Cage are two men. They began their careers together. Oh, yeah. From day one, uh, one of the greatest tag teams of all time, these two men, ever. Some would say that. If it's hard to say that we're the best ever, I mean, it's hard to argue not. But Christian Cage, I mean, since he's been here in AEW, I mean, he's completely redefined himself. And now, as TNT champion, I mean, maybe the best moments of Christian Cage's career. Tough to argue that also. He's very proud, Christian is, of that TNT title. I think he's risen that title up to, to new heights. I truly do. No matter if you like the man or not, he has done that. Christian Cage has done that. Never thought I'd see these two men in an AEW ring on the fourth anniversary of Dynamite in my life. At the same time. For 40 years, you and I have been best friends. Before we were in this industry, but it was this industry that made us realize we were gonna be best friends for life. And I, I know what you're thinking, why did I do what I did at Wrestle Dream? Why did I smash Nick Wayne? Why did I throw a chair in Luchasaurus' face and spear him? Why did I do those things? And it, it's quite simple, because I see you standing out here just like this. I see your face all pursed up, looking more like a than usual. Swear jar. And even though I know that about you, I still love you. That's never gonna go away, okay? But I saw you standing over Sting. Sting. Sting! A guy whose poster you took to the barber and put it on the mirror so that she would cut your hair the same way as his. You had the box top of the lousy rat tail. I was Lex Luger. That was us. And I see you standing over Sting, a man who has entertained people for over four decades. 
a man who has caused people to feel for four decades. A man, my wife's grandparents couldn't speak English, they're Polish, but guess what? They loved Sting. So I can't stand here and watch you smash him with a concerto. So that's why I did what I did Sunday. But I also did it because I know, and I'm speaking from experience here, that Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne are gonna drop you like a bad habit as soon as they've sucked all the information out of your brain. And you're so egotistical, you won't see it. I know you won't see it. But Jay, man, I am here. I am here because it's time. It's time. For the first time since 2011, for the first time properly in over 20 years, it's time for you and I to team together again. To face a team like FTR. To face a team like the Young Bucks. To show an entire generation of fans why we are inarguably one of the greatest tag teams of all time. So I am out here hat in hand and I am asking you, let's do it. Let's end our careers together as a team. Let's show them all what we can do. Go fuck yourself. Before I go, just a quick reminder, Adam, of what you'll be up against this Tuesday live on Dynamite. It will be Adam Copeland making his AEW in-ring debut next week. Dynamite, title Tuesday. Copeland, one-on-one, -on -one, the rated R superstar, facing Luchasaurus. And Copeland does not look intimidated. It will be title Tuesday next week, but before that collision, special start time, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, this Saturday night live on TNT. And then next week, special programming note, title Tuesday Dynamite, live on Tuesday night, 8, 7 Central, right back here on TBS, the Rated R Superstar, Adam Copeland, makes his AEW in-ring debut next Tuesday night here on Dynamite. Thank <laughs> you.
Stay.